morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's 10 degrees outside. We've just had three days of snow. We're in Clinton, Maine. I'm about to pull maintenance on my solar hot water heater. This is the estate mod. Very difficult. You need to keep these clear of leaves, debris, and snow. I have this connected to the hot water faucet. Let that run for a minute. We took two baths last night and we did the dishes. The temperature is 129 degrees and counting, that's Fahrenheit. These two units here, I'm running them for trials through the winter. This one I have filled up with IV antifreeze. And this one is laying dry. I haven't tested this in a week. As I said, we've had three days, going on four days of heavy snow. This is called an auxiliary expansion tank. As this steams off, it condenses in here and goes back into the tank so you don't lose any water. Give that a minute to get up the temp, and I'll take a spy. In the meantime, I'll clean the tube. Temperature is 98 degrees. This tank is laid stagnant. It's it was at 110 before the snowstorm. So you do the computations. I'm now going to go down and get two tubes out of the garage. One I will fill with snow. That's a water tube unit, much like these. The other tube is a heat pipe unit that this uses. And we'll fill the water tube with snow. We're going to let it set out. Hopefully we'll get some sun. When the sun comes up, we'll time it. Videotape and show you the action. I'm back. I brought the tubes back. We're ready to pack them with snow, but before I do, I want to show you how I get these real clean, real fast if I want to, and how resilient they are, and how hot the water is. I'm going to do all I can until my thumb boils off. Well, I thought it would be a little action pack. We have sunlight, so I'm going to pack the tube. I haven't done this before, so it's new to me, it's new to you, and we'll all find out together how long it takes the sun is popping out. It's not packed anywhere near the bottom. But we're going to leave that like that, see if that melts off. We're going to go in and have a cup of coffee, and we'll come out and see what happens. I can push this heat pipe down. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. We had a little clouds there. We're going to see what goes on.
Making a little bit of heat there. You're steaming away. Now let's see what happened to that snow in the water tube. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the principle. They can sit in the snow, but inside, look at it steam. The temperature outside is 24, 25 degrees. Amazing thing is, cold to the touch on the outside. It's a thermos bottle. No heat can transfer through that. Everything's acquired within the tube. Nothing can escape. It all has to go into the tank.